Okay, it's Sunday morning, uh, I don't know, the 21st of July or something like that. Not sure about the date. <clears throat> anyway, uh, this is like the fourth time at least that I've had to clean this apartment for new tenants. God, that looks horrible. I got sick. Ah, there we go. Much better. Okay, anyway. Uh, he had one tenant, the first tenant when I had started working for him. She chose the colors of the paint in this apartment. And I tell him, don't do that. Don't let them choose their colors because then well, we have to keep up with it and we have to store gallon after gallon after gallon of paint. But he did it anyway. Now he's learning to listen. But living room, I don't have a problem with that color. It actually looks kind of nice. It's kind of a teal green with uh, white on the uh, ceiling. Kitchen stayed white. The bedroom, on the other hand, I call this baby shit green. It's ugly. But that's what she wanted. That's what she got. So, yeah, not happy with that. But anyway, next step, the bathroom. Kind of a bluish color, it's a light blue. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, no big deal. Anyway, the lady moved out, didn't paint it back to the original color. She took light fixture out of the bathroom, light fixture out of the, bed the bedroom, stuff like that. Okay, well we got that fixed back up and rented it out again. The lady that moved in that time was pure garbage and she wound up having to move. We wound up having to get rid of her. She's gone. Third try, which I think that was this last lady. <sighs> She's on housing. Her rent's like 80 a, 80 a month. That's not bad, $80 a month. Anybody can afford that usually. And she worked. But it was supposed to just be her in the apartment. Well, the next thing we know, she's got her boyfriend living here. Well, we went ahead and tried to be nice about it. But then, last October, she quit paying her rent. Her boyfriend's dealing drugs out of the apartment. She's letting him, she knows what he's doing. She's doing drugs, and she's not paying her rent. She's not paying her electric bill. She didn't pay half most of her bills. And how she managed to keep her electric on was they would send her a notice that they were gonna shut it off, and she'd pay just a little bit just so they wouldn't shut it off. And that's how she operated. Well, we just got rid of her while I was on my vacation here. About two weeks ago, I got back. Just before I got back, she moved out. So I'm happy for that. But when the last lady moved in here, this door I had to replace when the first lady moved in after I started working. Put it on, painted it white. And when I started working on this apartment last week, this last week, should I say, there's a hole in the door and the door is not painted white it's still primed from being a brand new door so apparently she had broke the door replaced it and her boyfriend put a hole in it again okay well <clears throat> fortunately I was able to fix it so you really can't tell there was ever a hole in there no big deal okay next thing I'm going to take you outside here and show this one to you. This is what really pisses me off the most. Let me see if I can turn this around. Okay, bullet hole. That chip there, that's from a bullet. Down below us where you can't see is three more bullet holes. Her boyfriend and her had a fight and he started shooting a gun off over here. She tried to deny it, but I came in here. Now, let me see if you can see it. You won't see any more bullet holes in these walls. It actually made it through that outside wall, this dividing wall between the uh, bedroom and living room, made it all the way through this side of that wall and was lodged in that wall in the sheetrock when I came in here to clean to fix the apartment up. 
She says she don't know what happened. She just saw the hole all of a sudden. Well, I don't believe that. But the funny thing is, let me see if I can find it. 38 bullet. That's one hell of a hit. And with the angles and all this, she's trying to say, oh, it must come from down the street or something. No, if it come down from down the street, it would have been up in an upward trajectory and went up into the ceiling after breaking through the wall. So yeah, we know better than that. But anyway, just one thing after another with her. Uh, there's no way it came from anywhere else but inside the fence, right outside the door, outside her wall. But and then we got the new lady here. That's probably her you're hearing now. She just pulled up. She's throwing her garbage. She'll take her bag of garbage out with dirty diaper or whatever and just throw it over the railing down there to the garbage cans. Okay, we don't have a dumpster. Wouldn't be able to get it into the property anyway. But what she does is she just, oh, it's gotta go out, okay, I'll take it and uh, throw it over the railing to the garbage can. If it falls in, cool. If it don't, oh well, not anymore. We're putting a stop to that one. So I'm tired of the BS. Things are changing. Dealing with the stupidity. Yeah, you gonna get fucked. Pardon my language. But it's just one thing after another around here. Uh, I had a problem with my battery on my van being dead. And it was while I was on vacation. So it was a friend of mine came over to help the old lady out and uh, he got jumped it off the first time got it running for her. she parked it comes out the next morning it's dead okay so he comes over his car had uh, been in an accident it told the car so he still had his good battery and it was a brand new battery not even a year old now so he uh he turns around and puts it in for her for that for us to use while I'm gone and when I get back and get another battery put it in there he took the battery out of the van and put it over there in on the side of the parking stall out of the way now we have a fence around the property nice fence but anyway uh, two days ago I'd already figured out what's wrong with the van it wasn't the battery it was just she had a door left open and the light was staying on and it was killing the battery. And also she wasn't going and driving the van every day multiple times a day like I do. So between that and just a general drain on the battery, it killed it. It just draw, drew it down to being dead. So anyway, uh, I just hadn't swapped them back out. Well, Friday I go to uh, help my buddy move his car and we need one of the batteries back over there so we can move his car and uh, unbelievably I discovered the battery's gone what the hell so I went and first thing I did was I went and pulled up the cameras that showed where the battery was and it showed it was there this morning or Friday morning oh okay well I go to work back and forth find where within 15 minutes it's there it's not there and then I just fine tuned it and figured out what time it happened couldn't tell for sure who it was, and then I pulled up a different camera angle, and I knew how who it was. We have a regular recycler that comes in and grabs cans, plastic bottles, all that, and we let him in so he can do that. Well, Thursday after he had come in, I'd take him down to one of our other buildings, the building where I'm at now, and let him get the recycling out of here. I had to leave and go do something and he went back down to my building, climbed over the fence and went and started snooping around, come to find out. Okay, uh, I found out about that after the battery incident. So now I'm looking for him because he is a wanted man. I will detain him for the police to take away for theft, trespassing amongst other things. And yes, trespassing can be a felony, especially if you're trespassing to commit another crime of theft. So, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble when I catch him. And I don't wanna hurt him, 
but I want him to have to pay for what he's done. But if he does resist citizen's arrest, which I am obligated to, you know, place into existence, it is one of those things that you can do. <coughs> I will detain him to whatever means is necessary. If he gets bruises and cuts, it's going to happen. I'm not going to let him get away with it. You know, this guy is probably the same guy that had broke into my van and stole stuff. Probably the one that, same one that broke into other vehicles and stole stuff from other people. So, yeah, we're definitely not happy about this. I've already let my neighbors know about it. And they usually gave him stuff. And that's what's going to be. They're not happy with them. They're cutting them off. They're, they know I'm looking for them now. <laughs> okay. She took, she hung towels over the railing. And I've been nice and let it go for a couple of days. She hasn't taken them in. So I hung them on her door. Put a bag of garbage in front of her door that she threw over the railing. She leaves it there and takes the towels in. So I'm going to move it in front of her door. And that will cause her to take the hint. She's really not a good tenant. And to be honest with y'all, I will probably talk to her case manager. And they will have to get her out of here most likely that's what's going to happen because we've tried to be nice and she's just she don't want to take the hint but anyway i'm going to end this video get it uploaded and finish up cleaning up this apartment i mean this lady did this apartment was ridiculous it looked clean on the surface you know the floors didn't look too dirty the refrigerator she had started cleaning but she never finished the cabinets, on the other hand, I mean, she just left stuff in here. I mean, dishes. She left a nice, it was a red colored alligator skin purse or crocodile skin, whatever it is. And it was in pristine condition. So I go ahead and I dump out all the garbage out of there and find a eight ball of Coke, it looked like or a bag that held an eight ball. You could see what it had been. And what happened is she had probably bought it and done it and then turned around and, you know, just tossed the baggie back in her purse. So anyway, like I said, it's one thing after another. She had, uh, when she moved in, all the blinds in here were pristine. We had two that were damaged before she moved in, and we took those out and put new ones in in its place. There was nothing wrong with the others. And literally a month or so after she moves in, she's talking about all the blinds that were in here, except for one or two, were garbage. They were all damaged and, no, they were pristine. But my boss tells me, go ahead and pick up two more sets and put two more sets in to replace the worst of them. We're not doing it anymore. So I went ahead and did that, put two new sets in here. She destroyed all five sets, including the two new sets that we put in after she had moved in. That's how ridiculous this lady is. And, or was. And it was just one thing after another. There was a leak in the... Uh, bathroom above the apartment next door to her and we had gotten that fixed but she never said anything about leaking into her bathroom well as she's in the process of moving out this last lady she tells my boss she says oh by the way there was a leak coming from the apartment upstairs and leaking into my bathroom through the ceiling over the bathtub and she said nothing about it until that point and nothing probably would have been even noticed until after she had moved out if she hadn't said anything. But then if we tried to take her to court for it, she would say, oh, well, I told them about it. But she didn't tell us till after she, after the fact, you know, way after the fact. But it's just, this lady was something else. And I've got to sit down with my boss and we've got to go over all the, go over what his current lease setup is, how it's worded and all that, and change the wording as necessary to keep this kind of BS from happening. 
We have people will sit up on the on the uh, walkway smoking cigarettes. We don't care about that. You don't smoke in your apartment of any kind, and you don't throw the cigarette butts on the ground. We do not tolerate that. And it's just one thing after another. We're finding this everywhere. And then, oh God, one of my other buildings, and this is totally, I couldn't believe this. Another building we have, I, uh, my boss calls me and asks me to go over there and check out this one apartment, apartment three, her toilet. Cause uh, she called him complaining that her every time she flushed her toilet, it was coming up into the bathtub. And I went down there the same day within the hour of finding out. I get over there and I brought my snake with me and everything. And I knock on the door and I can kind of smell the stink of a unflushed toilet as I walk into the apartment. I'm like, oh God. And then I turn around and they've got the bathroom door closed. Don't have an exhaust fan running in there because it quit while they were living there and they never notified us. Anyway, uh, she, uh, I go in there and we open up the bathroom and oh man, it is unbelievably rotten smelling in there. Okay, they had destroyed the bathroom door part way. It's just in pieces and it's barely holding together. But uh, anyway, uh, tub don't look to be too dirty. Okay, well I'll just pull up the uh, the stopper assembly out of the uh, overflow tube and run my sewer snake down there and run it down the main sewer line. No big deal. I ain't gonna worry about it. I uh, I go to open that up. Well, the stopper has been unused for so long that corrosion and stuff has seized it up, so I can't get that out. Joy of joys. Okay, so I reach over there to open up the toilet, and I'm gonna go ahead and run the snake down that instead, and it is full to the rim with feces. And I'm like, oh God, I damn near threw up in there. I come out there and I'm like, how long has your toilet been stopped up? And she's, oh, like three or four days. Now, it's supposed to just be her and her kid, but she's got like five other people living in the apartment. So it's like unbelievable. And I'm like, oh God, I, I can't deal with this. So I just told my boss, I can't do it. And I just told him, call a plumber and she'll just have to pay for a plumber. Well, she didn't want to do that, so she uh, she just had me bring, told him to bring, have me bring over the snake, and she'd fix it herself. I gave her a few pair of gloves and the snakes and everything, and she made it work. She got it unstopped, but the toilet, the bathtub's still a little messed up, so I've got to deal with that when I once she's gone. Uh, she's supposed to be moving out any day, so what can I do? Uh, I did make a suggestion to her on the bathtub is to. Uh, Take a wet rag, take the uh, the overflow cap off, and put a rat wet rag in there, and shove it in there real tight and everything. And then uh, take the uh, tub, put some water in there, and plunge it out. It should be enough to break out whatever is clogging that up now. But uh, yeah. Hopefully it does, but who knows, I may wind up having to tear into the ceiling of the apartment downstairs <laughs> to fix this. And it's actually probably going to be in the storage rooms downstairs, because I think her toilet is above the store storage areas, at least I hope it is. But it's with her it's been one thing after another, you know, she's totally been disrespectful, causing problems, and we're just... We finally told her either you move or we're evicting you. And she chose to move. So we're going to see what happens. Hopefully that goes through real quick. But got so much to do and not enough time to do it. I've got to have this apartment completed by tomorrow morning. <coughs> and I'm in the cleanup process now. So I'll catch you all on the flip side. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see if I can't get some uh, video in the next couple of days for you all.